Three Southwest states, Ekiti, Oyo and Ondo, said on Sunday they would soon sign the Amoteku bill into law in Ekiti. The State Commissioner for Information, Muiwa Ulumilua, said the governor, Dr. Kayode Faemi, would sign the bill soon. The Speaker of Ekiti State House of Assembly, who corroborated the commissioner's claim, said the Ekiti Amoteku bill would be signed by the governor as soon as possible. He said at the meeting in Ibado, it was resolved that all the houses would soon pass their own bills into law following the normal process of lawmaking. Ekiti is already underground. Uh, other colleagues will pass their own as well as as soon as possible. And definitely the governor's assent, which is the final approval in the law process, will be done. He added that at the meeting of Conference of Speakers in the Southwest, it is agreed that all the Southwest House of Assembly should conduct public hearing on the bill. Plus TV Africa spoke with Nabu Laureate Professor Walesho Inka on the Amoteku issue. The kind of uh, nonchalance about uh, specific concern, uh, even including uh, uh, security, he wakes up late to very real and present danger, which has been apparent to everybody else. Uh, the, other, the other day, I remember a statement which shocked me, not uh, from him, not so long ago. He said he was shocked about the state, the uh, level of insecurity in, in the nation. He was shocked. I was shocked. He was shocked. What this has been going on the whole, you know, right across the entire nation. Where does he think uh, all the negligent uh, condom decisions of the origin function? Yeah? Now, what, what's your opinion on the clamor for the sacking of the service chiefs? Do you see this as a solution to the myriads of security issues we're facing currently? The security issues are uh, a matter both for the experts and for the amateurs, because the amateurs these represent those who, who really feel the brunt of insecurity, so they have a voice, and they also have opinions, and in many, many instances, even the so-called citizen amateur has a greater grasp of what is required to police to secure his or her own environment. Um, far, far, far beyond uh, what those who sit at the center uh, think that they that they, they know or they can uh, they can do. And uh, so the one set of uh, security chief is sacked, another one replaces it. No, but it's not an individual issue. The system is the structure. And anybody who sits at the center and says he opposes regional, community, um, uh, localized policing in one form or the other, is an enemy of the people. We also spoke with Barrister Emeka Wankwo on the Amotaku issue. Security is very, very central because uh, our constituent says that the primary purpose of government is the security of lives and property and the welfare of the people. So security is not something that the government or the people should toy with. And uh, it is, uh, they should remove politics completely from the issue of, uh, issue of security because lives are involved. And uh, if you check the present security architecture we have in Nigeria, it's not working. We just have to tell ourselves the truth is not working. So we have to look in, inwards to see what we can do to improve the, the security arrangement. And uh, uh, community policing, uh, people are saying, uh, think, people think that it's a new thing. It's not a new thing. We've always had community policing in Nigeria. Let me give you an instance. In the, in the southeastern states, they have the vigilante services. Every community in the southeast, at least from Anambra State, every community has a vigilante service. And it is community, his community policing. His community policing, every community has a vigilante service. And there's a law, vigilante laws, passed by the state's houses of assembly. assembly legalizing this vigilante service. There was a time there was a serious issue with respect to kidnapping and, uh, and all whatnot, especially in Anambra State, you understand? But you rarely hear, hear of those things now because of the novel arrangement of uh, having community policing through these uh, vigilante services. 
working hand in hand with the Nigerian police. Even the, 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 our local government police in the First Republic. So if we replicate it now, uh, there's nothing wrong with it. The Honorable Attorney General of the Federation that declared its activity illegal. illegal. Well, my comment on that is that uh, uh, he went back to his closet and found out that uh, he, he acted, maybe he acted, uh, uh, what word will I use? He outed, acted out of fashion or out of tune. You understand? So I won't say that he ate the humble pie. The truth is that you can't stop something when its time has come. The issue of security yes. is on the exclusive legislative uh, list. But the same law says that the governors are the chief security officers of their respective states. So the present constitution we are, we are the present constitution we have needs to be tinkered with. You understand? Uh, good enough, the Senate has inaugurated a constitution amendment committee. They should holistically look at this issue of, uh, of state policing, regional security, vis-a-vis -vis, uh, uh, our national security. To react to these submissions, we still have in the studio a social commentator and producer here at PLOS TV Africa, Ikene Ezeji. Thank you for staying with us. Oh, my pleasure. What's your take on all of these developments? Well, I, I feel like we're living in a time when events are now propelling change, um, which is not a good indication for our leadership. It means that they're not sensitive. You heard him say that the uh, Attorney General of the Federation was acting out of fashion. He was looking for the right words, out of tune, he said. Um, so a lot of times they seem to be on the back foot and they're catching up. You know, and, and you know, you, we listen to the uh, Nobel, Nobel laureate, Wale Shoenka, and he said he was shocked that the president was shocked that the situation warranted you know, some response because he feels the whole of the country should be aware, much less the, the person who is at the helm of affairs. So I feel that you know, the best we can expect now from our leadership is to quickly catch up with the temperature uh, around. Security is a very, it's a matter of life and death and people are not going to take it lying down if you say they should fold their arms. Meanwhile, you're not delivering on the primary mandate that's, you know, security, welfare, because nobody can be functional in a country where they're afraid for their lives and they're seeing people being killed on a daily basis. How optimistic are you really that this uh, move, because we've been saying, he said uh, that uh, vigilantes have been in existence in a long time, and then we hear the police now is talking about community policing, and then we have Amoteko, the mm. South East is also coming up with their own. How optimistic are you that these will actually help address, address the, issue. the issue of insecurity? Because as it stands, we still have mountain pressure of that in the North East, Bonu State has been in the news consistently since the past week. Yes. Um, well, I guess the, the thing that will really make the difference is harmonizing these efforts and not politicizing them. You know, if now we finally say, look, this is the one thing that should unite us and not divide us. Everybody wants the welfare of Nigeria primarily to deal with uh, security because without security being in place, we can't function as a nation. So if we see it as a matter to bring us together, we can harmonize. There's nothing actually to make us alienate the efforts of Amoteku or even Obunigwe or uh, Shege Kafasa. We need to say, okay, look, let's take away the politics of these issues and let's say, what is it that will make it? Because we can, we can come up with a holistic approach that will deal with it both from the legal ambit and from the actual operational ambit. We can do it. It's just that for the time being, we seem to have been distracted with politics. Thank you very much for your time with us. My pleasure.